When the believer is placed into their grave and they hear the final footsteps of their family leaving, the punishment comes. And as the punishment comes from above, your prayer stands up and it puts its hand up and says, you will not pass through me. So the prayer guards your head. And then the punishment comes to you from your right side. And the Prophet ﷺ said, your sliyam, your fasting rises and stands guard and says, you will not pass through me. And then to his left, his zakah stands and says, ma qibadi matkhad, you will not pass through me. And then at his feet, his goodness towards his family and then his community, his voluntary charity, his truthfulness, his honesty, all of those things stand guard at the bottom and say, ma qibadi matkhad, you will not pass through me. And then it's said to him, sit up. And he sits up. First, you have to answer our questions. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? Man nabiyuk, who is your prophet? Now, the only way you're going to be able to answer who your Lord is, is if you used to worship Him. And the only way you're going to be able to answer what your religion is, is if you actually used to practice it. And the only way you're going to be able to answer who your Prophet is, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is if you used to actually follow Him. And if you answer right, a voice cries out from the heavens and says, Sadaqa Abdi, my slave has spoken the truth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then calls out, supply him with the furnishings from Jannah. Clothe him from the clothes of paradise. Open for him a gate to paradise so that some of its fragrance comes to him in his grave. And then his grave is expanded for him as far as his eye can see. And at that point, you are laying in the clothes of Jannah with a window to Jannah. And everything starts to feel like Jannah, starts to feel like paradise. This visitor comes to you and this visitor has this beautiful face, has these fine clothes and has this pleasant scent. And he says to you, glad tidings of that which will bring you happiness. This is your day, which you were promised. And so the deceased says, who are you? That face of yours is only going to be a face that brings good news. And that person responds to you and says, I am your good deeds. Now subhanAllah, imagine what your good deeds look like all in one person. The beauty of that ta'ala, if you actually used to act upon that guidance from Allah, what does your Quran, your prayer, your fasting, your charity all look like in the form of one person saying to you, I am your good deeds and I'm here to give you good news.